Tonight, deputies in Laurel County are trying to track down the person responsible for ramming into the Lilly Fire Station. WKYT's Jordan Villain shows us just how much damage was done to the building. It's a selfless job working as a volunteer firefighter, dedicating time and energy to help the community and not expecting anything in return, and especially not expecting kind of a, a shock. someone to harm their property. From the video footage, I mean, the vehicle was doing donuts in the parking lot, just driving reckless. The reckless driving. Quite a bit of damage to the, to the facility. Resulting in this. Vehicle plowed into the, the big bay door area that they raise. Uh, to get the fire trucks out. The Lilly Fire Department operates on donations and is now facing a financial setback because of this. When they struck the door, it created about $1,400 worth of damage. Although most of the snow and ice has melted off the parking lot, deputies say that on Friday night, this parking lot was still icy, meaning that the car may have accidentally slid into the building. But either way, leaving the scene of an accident is still a crime. Deputies are now asking folks to keep an eye out for a dark green. Or black Ford Taurus. Somebody in that area probably knows this vehicle, and you know, this is their fire department down there, so I'm sure that they want to find who did it just as much as we did. And with your help, they hope to catch the person whose selfish actions hurt a selfless group of volunteers. In Laurel County, Jordan Valines, WKYT. Deputies want to talk to anyone who was near the Lilly Fire Department at the time of the incident.